Welcome back everyone to Design Week. In this video I'll be showing you how you can make this process GIF as you can see here of my new channel banner that I recently made. This can be useful when you want to show off your work process to a client or just want to post it on Instagram or Twitter. Because let's be real, it is very satisfying. So without further ado, let's open up Photoshop. Alright, so once you're inside Photoshop and you have your project loaded up, we're first going to open up all groups that are visible in this project. If you have invisible layers like I have here that I don't want to keep visible but I may come back to these later to edit. What I like to do with those is select all of them and change their color to red or blue. That way they stand out to me so I know not to enable them accidentally when animating. If you have a bunch of other colored layers then simply group them and change the group name to something like don't make visible in the animation we're just about to make create. Make create? Yeah I think that'll do. Also while you're disabling layers, disable individual layers instead of groups. We're going to be animating these layers and it'll make more sense later. In my project I don't have any clip layers but let me just create some empty layers and uh, clip them to the first layer as an example and explain one more thing before we start animating. When you make a clipped layer invisible everything that is clipped to that layer gets invisible as well. Now we want these to show up gradually or show up one by one. So instead of making the main layer invisible make the ones clipped invisible first. Now that we know what layers we need to show in the animation make all layers invisible individually. Go to window and enable timeline. Click create timeline. We don't need the new timeline view so we will simply click the tiny button at the very bottom left corner to go into frame animation view. Let's set our animation delay first. Right click on the first frame. Here you will see some delay amounts that you can choose from. What I like to do is set a custom delay of 0.7 seconds. It's not very long and not very short either. It gives enough time for the eye to register a frame and then move to the other. In the description you will find a link to a Photoshop pattern file. Download that file and in Photoshop create a pattern adjustment layer. Go to pattern settings and click load pattern. Select the pattern you downloaded and load it inside Photoshop. Select the pattern then click OK. Congratulations, you just imported an empty layer to Photoshop. <laughs> this checkerboard- oh goddammit. This checkerboard pattern will basically create the illusion that you started with an empty canvas. For the very first frame we will keep this pattern enabled. Then we are going to click the new layer icon in the timeline panel to create a new animation frame. In this frame we will disable our pattern and enable the very first layer of our project that started it all which in my case will be the YouTube banner guide. We will create another animation frame and enable the next layer. And just like that we will follow a chronological order, create new frame enable the next layer that was created next, etc. I'm sure you understand my point here despite me trying too hard to explain this with my poor English speaking skills. I'm trying over here alright, at least I'm not explaining through a notepad with a royalty free chill music in the background. <laughs> Okay, so let me add a few more things to this animation process while I'm doing the animation in the background. If you have layers with layer styles, you can expand them and enable each one in a new frame. The more things you can animate, the better and natural your animation will look. Also keep in mind that Ctrl Z shortcuts to undo will not work on animation frames. You have to manually add or remove layers. Hit the spacebar key on your keyboard to play your animation and see how it looks. And to me this looks fantastic. But it ends abruptly and gives me less time to look at the final results so what I'll do is increase delay on the very last frame to about 2 or 3 seconds. And now if we preview it again you will see we now get more time to observe the final design. I think this is great. Let's now export this to a GIF file so we can upload it on social media. Go to File, Export, Export for Web. 
we need to tweak these settings a little bit. First we need to change the file format to GIF. Then change colors to 256. Set dither to no dither and transparency disable. At the very bottom make sure looping options is set to forever so the animation never stops. You can change image size if you want and I think it's set to way too high and I don't think it needs to be that huge. So I'll simply change the percentage to 50% which will change my image size to half which is 1280 by 720. Once you've set all your settings click save and choose your output folder. And that's it. If you have any questions or suggestions for a future video be sure to leave them in the comments down below. I read all comments and reply to them as many as I can. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, be sure to give this video a like. It's free and subscribe if you would like to see more videos like this in the future. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Peace out. Let's now export this to a GIF file so we can upload it on social. Let's now export this to a GIF file so we can upload it to social media.